this thing right here looks like just an iPhone, right? Wrong. At least not a couple of months from now because we just got a massive wave of leaks that finally confirms that Apple is going all in on generative AI with the upcoming iOS 18 software update and especially with the upcoming iPhone 16. Now before I get into this long list of AI and Apple GPT related leaks, I want to quickly mention just how fast generative AI is changing our world. People have already been using ChatGPT to help write professional level resumes, email responses, and even software code that's better and more efficient than what a human could do. Not only that, but there are a huge number of generative AI tools that convert text descriptions into images in literally just seconds like Dolly from OpenAI, Adobe Firefly, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and many more. I even used some random iPhone AI app to generate 50 images of Tim Cook for thumbnails. And getting even crazier, OpenAI just introduced Sora, their text to video model, which can create videos of up to 60 seconds that look incredible with only a paragraph of text. Apple's rival Google also recently created Gemini, which replaced Bard. So the talk of the tech industry has been that Apple is falling very far behind in terms of AI features, but not for long because Apple has been prepping for a massive AI push for years and they're about to unleash all of it later this year. And before I begin with the leaks, remember Apple's neural engine that they launched launched with the iPhone 10 back in 2017 for Face ID? Yeah. Keep that in mind because I'm going to blow your mind in just a minute. The leaks all started back in July of last year when Mark Gurman claimed that Apple is racing to build next generation generative AI features to catch up with OpenAI and Google. Apparently, they were creating their own Apple GPT feature internally aiming for launch in 2024. Then in September, it was leaked by the information that Apple is planning major safety improvements for iOS 18, which is now only four months away from being revealed at Apple's annual WWDC event. One example is that you'll be able to ask to create a GIF or GIF out of a series of five photos and send it to a friend all by using your voice. Tim Cook even confirmed in an interview with Forbes in September that Apple has been working on generative AI for years, saying that they've never felt an urgency to be first, but an urgency to be the best. And that's how they're going into this. And if you need more proof, Apple opened new job listings back in June of last year for generative AI engineers for AR and VR applications. In October, tech analyst Jeff Pu confirmed that Apple will start implementing generative AI technology on the iPhone and iPad in late 2024, saying that it could come as soon as iOS 18 and iPadOS 18. Then in November, Twitter leaker Tech Reeve reported that Apple is going to be completely revamping Siri into the ultimate virtual assistant with the first product being unveiled at WWDC 2024. And all of this will be introduced alongside the iPhone 16 lineup, which is actually going to get some exclusive AI features, which makes sense because Apple usually does that to upsell the latest iPhone models. Mark Gurman also reported that Apple's executives fully believe that the AI focused iOS 18 and other software updates in 2024 will be ambitious and compelling, basically confirming everything Tech Reef said about taking to the next level. And in December, Apple AI Research has released a report revealing a massive innovation in deploying LLMs on iPhones and other Apple devices with limited memory by inventing a new flash memory utilization technique that basically allows iPhones to run AI models that are up to twice the size of the actual available memory, improving performance by up to 25 times on Apple GPUs. The Apple analyst Ming Chi Kuo also reported that Apple is upgrading the microphones on the iPhone 16 lineup specifically to boost the experience of using C for AI, which is a huge hint. Later that month, Apple actually approached major news publishers like NBC News, CQ, and many more, offering at least $50 million in order to license archives 
of news articles so that they can use them to train Apple's AI models. And just last month, the Financial Times reported that Apple has also been acquiring AI-related startups, including Wave One, which offers AI-powered video compression. All of this basically proves that Apple is going all out in order to catch up with their rivals in terms of AI features. And going further, at the beginning of this month, Apple CEO Tim Cook himself confirmed that they are spending a tremendous amount of time and effort on AI, hinting at AI features coming later this year. And according to Mark Gurman, iOS 18 is currently seen within Apple as potentially the biggest iOS update in the history of the iPhone. But here's where it starts to get very interesting with leaks that just came out a couple of days ago. Apple has created a new innovative tool called Keyframer, which leverages LLMs to animate static images based on a user's text prompts. But the unique thing about this tool is that it allows users to refine and adjust the generated AI image on the fly by adjusting or adding additional text prompts instead of the traditional method of starting all over again with a new prompt. Mark Gurman also just reported that Apple's working on a new AI-driven version of Xcode that they're planning on unveiling this year. And finally, we have the breakout leak that changes everything. Apparently, Apple is gonna give the entire iPhone 16 lineup a brand new neural engine with ultra fast AI performance because Apple is gonna do this whole generative AI thing completely differently than how other companies have been doing it. Instead of having massive servers doing the generative computing and rendering work over the cloud, Apple's goal is to have this AI generation happen on your local device with your iPhone, your Mac, or your iPad, which is why they've been jam-packing every Apple device with neural engine cores. For example, the Mac Studio with either M1 or M2 Ultra chips comes with 32 neural engine cores, so the tech required to generate AI is already here, and it's about to get even better with the M4 chip, which will use the new neural engine. So hopefully that massive list of AI-related Apple leaks was enough to convince you that Apple is going all out on generative AI this year. And the best part of all is that they've been planning to pack enough performance and technology right into your standalone iPhone so your prompts and results are completely private and encrypted. So just imagine using C to create a generated image from a prompt right on your iPhone and then asking her for adjustments on the fly to create the perfect image for what you need, including animated GIFs from static images and hopefully AI generated videos, although I don't know how long it'll take Apple to match what OpenAI just did with Sora. That right there is insane and takes a massive amount of GPU compute power to render. Sam Altman spent all day after launching Sora creating animated videos based on random Twitter user replies and it's shocking how well it works. The only question is what does Apple have in their AI pipeline later this year and can it possibly match up to what we've seen from other companies? Well, you let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.